Right. Thanks to Ken who donated this uh, major M588 old uh, 80 channel rig to me. Uh, it's currently unmodified and uh, it's, a, it's a nice nice rig, nice sideband rig but with only 80 channels uh, it's a little bit uh, restricted shall we say uh, but I've been looking into DDS units and uh, the AD9850 and the AD9851 and uh, these units uh, controlled by an Arduino really do open up a, a complete new world of possibilities to, to this old radio making it uh, scan not but up and down in 10 kilohertz steps but in 1 hertz steps using a little circuit board such as this okay now that's one I prepared earlier that's another uh, DDS unit that I prepared uh, a while back again it's got an AD9850 inside and it produces frequencies from 1 megahertz up to 40 although it does start to get a bit dirty after uh, 25 or 30 meg anyway what's happening here is you're squirting a uh, a signal or we will we will be squirting a signal out of a DDS unit uh, there into uh, the mixer of this uh, Cybernet major M58 rig now to do that we uh, will have to disable the phase lock loop and I'll go into that in a few bit more detail once I've got the rig open okay now uh, this is a prototype board of uh, uh, built up recently and uh, it's using the typical uh, LCD display which is very big it won't really fit very well in the in the C in the CB uh, there are two options really either to have a, a, a unit like that which is sat on top of the rig or one like this I made earlier on the rig uh, which is the DDS unit itself or uh, put the whole lot inside the radio you know, to get it in, inside the radio uh, you really need to use uh, an OLED screen uh, th this is part of the prototype I'm running there um, and the idea being that um, uh, instead of the channel display you can actually have a frequency readout which is connected directly to the DDS board and the Arduino and the whole lot would be hidden inside the radio itself uh, that's a work in progress but uh, what I'll do now is I'll open the radio up and uh, uh, show you how you can uh, control the, uh, the the tuning via uh, DDS okay okay so now we've got the, the top of the radio off or we'll bottom of the radio off can I say uh, and we've got our signal source DDS uh, connected via this wire here it goes all the way down here and uh, the wire here goes into the the radio there and it's squirting in uh, 27 plus the IF frequency the 10.695 and it's going into let me see it well T3 T3 that's that can there and next to that can there is capacitor uh, C21 I think it is as it comes out of as the signal comes out of T3 it's divided with half of the signal going to the receiver mixer and the other half going to the transmit mixer ok so if you squirt your signal in there you then at least without doing anything else you get um, receive but you don't get transmit, not yet at least. Now we've got receive here. Uh, I haven't got any strong signals around at the moment, but um, we've got receive, and it's that has been confirmed by the signal gen 
and by my other radio here so we've got receive working fine uh, but it won't transmit now why won't it transmit it won't transmit because in this particular case uh, we've got rid of the VCO uh, see that where, where the earth point is there normally there's a big green brick down there I've taken that out because uh, it could be useful later where that rectangle is there uh, there's normally resides a big green brick which is the uh, voltage controlled oscillator we are taking that out of course and of course the phase lock loop will not work at all with that not being there and on, on this particular model the phase lock loop is the PLL02A and uh, that means basically the pin 6 um, if, it, if, the, if it's the phase lock loop is in a locked state pin 6 will be high and if it's unlocked it's low now if you look at the circuit diagram you find that um, that pin 6 when it's high when everything's okay sends a, sig sends a voltage over to the transmit section which allows it to work so the next part of this operation is to um, cut the trace to pin 6 and uh, arrange for 5 volts to go there instead let's do that now I'll, I'll uh, paste the uh, the, the circuit diagram of that part in as well. Okay, so we've just uh, uh, put uh, this orange wire in. Uh, it goes down to pin six, and of course uh, the wire's cut there, or the trace has been cut there and uh, that goes to 5 volts uh, obviously it's the phase lock will be low so we cut the trace and try and fold it and put it to high volts so it's at 5 volts now so that should do the job okay so now we've done that mod uh, we've got the, the radio wired up again hopefully it should work let's give it a try shall we Testing one two one two one two three four testing testing one two three four testing one two one two okay yeah. one testing one two three four one two one two one two three four testing testing one two three four okay well, the radio seems to be working now on the uh, upper side there. Okay, there's a bit of a tune, but it's obviously working. Okay, that's enough, that's enough from me. I'll take for now, and we'll try and put the electronics in a box. Cheers. Enjoy.